Hold on one second. DC Trucker. What's going on, my guy? What's going on? Tell us what's going on on the ground over there, man. What's going on? Well, FEMA is already, first of all, FEMA was already prepared before the storm even happened. After the storm, FEMA immediately went down to the different areas to, first of all, to help with rescue. Then after that, then you, and this is what people, what people not understanding, it's a process, right? Because the first thing you got to do is you got to go down there and you got to help with, to try to save people. We right. They've already lost over 200 or something people that that can't be found in the different areas. So once you, and once you take, and once you do that, then you can start, then you, then your next thing is you have to start worrying about, okay, now that you've saved as many people as you possibly could save, right? Now you can start your relief effort. But right. before you start your relief effort, you have to assess the situation. You got to assess the roads. You got to assess the, you know what I'm saying? The area, whether or not you can bring in trucks, then you got to fly in things. I mean, it's a whole process that has to be, that has to be done. Other than oh, let's just put let's just pile up a thousand trucks and send them and send them wherever they got to go. Wow, yeah, that's a that's a serious point. That's that's a, a good point of view, man. So you think that they're using this as a political football to say FEMA failed under this administration and not really looking at what has to go on on the on the ground. The only people that's really that's using it as as political is the only person that, that's doing that is Trump. That's just like the other day. Trump went down to what was it, North Carolina? He bought mm -hmm. a, a couple of truck, a couple of truckloads of, of whatever the hell, some gas and some other things, right? And then he sat on a news conference. As a matter of fact, it was North Carolina. Then he makes a, then he sits there and tell people the governor is doing a great job, but the governor, the governor hasn't been able to, to get the president on the phone. This, that, and the third, right? He tells a bold faced goddamn lie. Because five minutes later, then the, the governor comes to do a news conference and say, he lying. I just spoke to the damn president. The president told me, offered me anything that we needed, just let him know. Mm -hmm. That he had a whole conversation with the president. So you think it's just people pushing it for their own? Uh, it's their Trump, own. man. The only person that's, that's using it for their political lies, because he knows that the one thing about Trump, and this is what I truly hate about Trump, and his cult members. One thing I hate is because Trump can sit here and lie. He can say whatever the hell he want, right? And his cult members just they'll just take it forward like it's God's earth. Like it's like it's it's just the truth. None of them will bother to do any research. And then the ones that do research, all the research, if it, if it's opposite of what he says, everything is fake news. Everything is lies. You know what I'm saying? Everything is lies. Yeah, that's why I be, I be trying to have a very neutral, you know, I try not to pick any sides or get involved in it because you could follow a, a path of information and it just don't be true. And then you end up looking crazy at the end of it. Exactly. But 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 here's the thing, though, TB, they will never admit it. They will never admit it. You could show them. Trump could be like, man, listen, this is this, this is that. And then you could give them, you could fact check them. You can give them a thousand different reasons of how, and show them how he lying. And then they'll never believe it. And they'll never say, oh, damn, you know what? Trump was wrong on this one. They would never say that. They'll just keep on going with the goddamn lie. Yeah. yeah that, and I, I understand what you mean. That's why you say it's a cult. Because it's like whatever he says just goes it's it's worse than you, you know what I, I try to give people an example of, of what what i'm talking about older people remember jim jones mm -hmm. right jim jones had a cult following right same kind of thing it ended up to where people were just so caught up on him and what he was saying and things that he were doing right they were so caught up in it to where at the end of the day when when the FBI had to go in and, and and try to you know save people and get people out and all this crazy this craziness right? They all drank some poison some poison Kool Aid and they all died together. That's right. how crazy and insane these people these people get. And it's that's like his cult members right now. It's like whatever this man says it does, they follow right behind them. You show yep. them. You should, you tell them, hey man, this man is a 34 count convicted felon. Those charges were fake. Those charges were fake. Wait a minute, this man was convicted in the court of law. So how was the charges fake? 
He was convicted by his peers, not by a judge, by his peers. He was, you know, you know follow what I'm saying? 12, 12 people, a jury. You know what I'm saying? Not no, you can't say this judge was biased or this person did this. 12 people of his peers convicted him of these charges. You want to keep on arguing with me that the charges were fake. Fake news, buddy. It's fake news. Yeah. I mean, they're they're in the uh they're in the comments getting at you right now about it. You know, listen, I could care less. Right. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Y'all gonna keep on following Trump down that rabbit hole. And you know what? Y'all y'all wanna y'all wanna drink that poison, goddamn Kool-Aid. You do what you want if it makes you feel better. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's what it's really about. It's picking sides. And you boil it all down, it's just everybody's picking sides. But the uh, but the fact of the matter is, it ain't gonna change the fact that whether or not this man lie, whether or not a Democrat lie, whether a Republican lie, none of that stuff matters. If right now we're talking about this FEMA situation, and the fact of the matter is, is that the government is doing everything. They they've offered billions of dollars of relief. I heard you say something about uh something about like we just want to get down there, but people are getting down there. Everything just every you know, it's easy for us to look on the outside and be like, come on, man, I'm trying to get me a FEMA load. I'm trying to get down there so I can do nine the same people that, that wanna the FEMA loads and, and now I ain't saying you T B. I'm just saying people. Yeah. But most of these truckers don't give a goddamn about the relief. They know the FEMA loads pay. They want some money. True. They don't give That's a damn about helping. They know them them loads, you know what I'm saying? They 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 pay a lot of money. They care more about the money. Yeah, and if it helps, that's just a plus. And that's just it's just a benefit along with it. Yeah. I mean, on one hand, on one hand you're right about that. On the other hand, these people have businesses and as if corporate is legally obligated to make profit, why shouldn't they? Now the question comes is, okay, if people are down there, you know, then people figure, well, how did, how, where did the loads, where, how did they get the loads to get down there? There are, lot of, there are lots of, of, of uh, companies that have FEMA contracts. Right. Like, I got, yeah, I got, no, nah, those loads are not going to be on. Some of them may, you know what I'm saying? You may, you may come across one here and there, but nine times out of 10, man, it's companies that already signed up with FEMA that, that they're going to get those FEMA loads before anybody else get them. Cause I know I got a couple of friends right now, man. That haul, some of them haul flat bed, some of them do uh, dry man, and 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 their companies are uh, attached to that FEMA contract, and they already down there doing the FEMA, uh, hauling FEMA stuff down there. Right. So if you ain't got it, you basically is just you wasn't with the right company. They got the contract, pretty much. Exactly. Because on FEMA loads, ain't they just don't appear? You know what I'm saying? They, you got to be, you got to have the right connections. You got to be signed up with them already. You got to have all this stuff in place before these disasters happen. So they already got them people signed up when the hurricane season is coming. Everything's already in order. Definitely, people already. I mean, there's companies that's already signed up with them, man. That I mean, like I said, that, those are they have those government contracts because that's what it is. It's a government contract. So a lot of the. Uh... The chicks that be on Instagram talking about government contracts, they should have 100 trucks down there. If they legit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's add that part. If they legit, yeah. If they're legit. Hey, I don't I don't disagree with anything you're saying, DC Trucker. I mean, I just, you know, you, you feel like, you know, the, I just remember back in the day, maybe I was with a company that had it. I just felt like we were we were balls to the wall. Everything was like all hands on deck. And it just didn't feel that way this time. It was like, why, why does it feel like, you know, people are posting, there's no there's no loads to go down there. There's no FEMA loads. And it's like, how is there no FEMA? FEMA's usually always, like, going. Like, you, it's like all hands on deck. But then again, you pointed out the road thing. And it's like, yeah, I'm looking at the footage right now. I have it up. And it's like, yeah, where are we going to park? Where are we going? All, all that stuff has to be, you know what I'm saying, has to be planned, man. Because you, you're not driving to those towns. You know what I'm saying? They got staging areas, you know what I'm saying, where where, they, where, where trucks could come in and out of. That's probably somewhere outside of the town. I mean, it's it, it's a it's a it's a process. Because you're not going. To, I'm looking at your pictures right now, right? You're not right. driving a whole bunch of trucks in that in that damn town right there. Where right. you gonna put them? Where they going? 
It ain't no stores. There's no facilities. There's no bathrooms. Yeah, it's 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 just an all around bad situation, man. All it, it is it is and and as far as fema man it's like if you if you in with with fema and you in and you in if you on the inside then you know all about it you know what's going on but for people to just sit outside that don't know anything about fema that's not involved in fema just regular people just you know what I'm saying people look on an outside of situation, they, they judge, they talk about, they give their opinions, whether they know what they're talking about or not. This is based off their opinions, and this, yep. there's no there's no facts to it. Yeah, that's why I usually try to put all my stuff and pose them as questions to be answered, and not try to do like most people have a confusion about what's a statement and what's a question. I usually want everything to be a question to give it open for someone to call in to answer the question, and. I you did that today. You answered the question of why everything is the way it's looking now and why you think Trump is just using it as a political football and, you know, the towns aren't set up to take the trucks and people already have the contracts. So you answered the questions. But what I am seeing in the comments is a lot of people are typing, but they're not calling in. You know why? why? Because because they're typing their opinion and not facts. Yeah, that's that's a. I can't, I can't say I disagree with it, y'all. I mean, he has a point. He has a point of view. And y'all can easily call in and say he's wrong here, here, there, here, here, there. I yeah. welcome I welcome it for the little bit of information I shared, right? Because I didn't share a whole lot. I shared a little bit of information. I'm willing, I, listen, I'm willing for anybody to dispute anything that I, anything that I said. Tell me, I'm, where, tell me what, what I'm wrong about and, and what misinformation did I give? Right. And usually it's just people are going to hear your uh, your point of view on Trump and just not listen to anything else you say. Of course not. Of course not. Because because one thing about opinions, man, everybody got an opinion, but not a whole lot of people have facts. People, are, everybody got complaints. But again, everybody don't have facts. That's like yeah. a lot of truckers right now are talking about uh, just to jump off topic real fast. Everybody jealous of these, these dock workers. You know what I'm saying? Going, having a union, shutting down, getting their money. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of truckers. You go to these trucker groups and everybody, oh, why truckers can't be unions? Why truckers can't do this? Why truckers can't do that? If you know your trucking history, you understand why truckers, why truckers ain't, ain't unionized right now today. But because you don't know your history, because you don't bother to do research, you don't have, you don't have the correct answers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my main thing is we can't even get along online. We damn sure not gonna get no collective bargaining. Exactly. I mean, I just I went with the video I did. I wanted to point out the difference in incomes because we don't have unity. Look at the difference. That's like I said. I don't want them to lose what they're getting. I don't think they should get it. I'm just saying. I just wanted to apply what they got to ours for the people to see the benefit of it. If we got this type of raises, if we got these type of benefits, this is what we would be living like. And maybe that would spark people to say, well, maybe we need to figure out how to um, get some unity going. But even now in, in these conversations, you can tell that there is no unity. It's not. And it's not going to be. Trucking has been what most truckers don't understand, especially the new truckers, is we used to be unionized. There was a time when trucking was unionized. Going back to the Teamsters days. Exactly. We had unions for truckers. But when every, when when deregulation happened, that's when everything fell apart. Right. And now trying you can barely get two truckers. You can barely get two truckers right now, man, to agree on whether uh a hot dog is good for you or not. So how the hell are you gonna get, you know what I'm saying, try to get millions of truckers together? Yeah. <laughs> so form a union. <laughs> yeah that that i mean i mean you would have to go back to when uh what was it reagan that messed with the air traffic controllers yeah reagan is the one that deregulated trucking yeah it was reagan was the one that that sparked it off with the uh with the air traffic controllers and then right after that every union you just look at the nine all the unions just went down there was yep. that. and i mean that i mean i i told a guy one time i said christmas bonus to him and he was like what's a christmas bonus it's like 
I'm not that old, but I am good enough to remember Christmas bonuses. They were a real thing, bro. Uh, they you were. A turkey voucher from your company to go get a turkey for uh, Thanksgiving. Christmas bonuses. And, and, and if you look at the numbers now, back then the Christmas bonus was between four and a thousand dollars, but it almost made the Christmas. It made Christmas yep. for families. Now, it sure did. You walk up to a person, they've never even heard of that concept. What Christmas? What do you mean? Well, I'm. I thank God, man, that I'm. I'm with a company that that still has, the that still believe in those those old time values where they've been around for a long time. So, like, I got a. They sent me a card right for Driver Appreciation Week, and it wasn't done big. It was for a free truck wash, right? I mean, right? Like I said, it wasn't done big, but I appreciate it because they didn't have to do that. It's a thought. There's a lot of companies that 